Shalom, this is Ezra from Jewish Voice, and I'm sure by now, if you're following the news, which most of you are, you've seen the tragic headlines and the even more horrifying photos and videos coming in from the land of Israel, where today, on what was supposed to be the holiday called Simchat Torah, or it was that holiday and was supposed to be a time of great rejoicing and togetherness and even dancing in the streets over joy for the Word of God throughout the land of Israel, uh, it ended up being really the greatest tragedy in modern Israeli history. And as you know, it's still unfolding. As I'm recording this at sunset, West Coast, U.S. time, over 250 Israelis dead, innocent civilians, massacred in their homes, in their cars, uh, some dragged into the Gaza Strip and currently being held hostage. And then, of course, over 1,500 in Israeli hospitals around the country, injured or critically injured. Uh, this is really tragic. Many of us are without words, but I want to ask you right now to pray. Pray that the IDF and those partnering with them would surgically immediately be able to identify and neutralize those wreaking havoc and creating terror within the borders of Israel that have been infiltrated today. That everyone who has evil planned in their heart to do from the Hamas terrorist group would be stopped right now. I also want to ask you to pray that the believers in the land of Israel would be filled with shalom and would be able to rise up in unity and in strength right now to serve their neighbors, not from a place of terror and fear, but from a place of strength in the Lord and courage that comes from him. I also want to ask you to pray for the unity of the nation of Israel as a whole, which has been so politically divided for so many months. Uh, may people set politics aside right now and unite as Am Israel, as the people of Israel, standing against the enemy, which is radical Islam and unexplained terrorism, and standing together. And may God, who neither slumbers nor sleeps, watch over Israel right now. Thank you for praying with us, and we'll be back with more updates as we have them.